You'll find that if you try to open an IIS weblog with Excel, um, it doesn't quite format correctly. So I can demonstrate this quickly by, um, let's just add a file type to the extension list. So we'll add log and save that. And now if I take this log file and I drag Excel onto it, it does open, but actually what you find is that the entire content of each line is placed in the first cell in the uh, spreadsheet. So obviously that's not much use to us. In fact, you can see these lines are so long that they actually overlap into a, a wrap around in this uh, box at the top. Um, that's not much use to us, so we need to do something slightly different to get it to format correctly. Microsoft produced this great tool called LogParser, which you can freely download from a Microsoft site. If you just uh, search for LogParser in your favorite search engine, um, I'm sure it will pull up the uh, download page. And so I actually have that installed on my PC here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define LogParser actually as a transformer. So this is going to transform IIS log files to CSV. Now let's browse. If actually I've been here you can see. Uh, so I've got log parser here. I pick that up and add that there. And now I need to define a profile. Okay, now come the arguments. Now this is a bit long and complicated, but um, once, once it's uh, in there, it's in there for good. So let's just uh, specify the output format as being CSV. And then we need a, a double quote, and then we specify a select statement. Select all of the columns into the output file, now we're going to put single quotes around the output um, variable. So it's a single quote, percent to single quote, from, and again a single quote, percent one single quote. So we're pulling it from the actual input file. And then double quotes to close out the select statement. The input format is log. The output format is CSV. The input file is the IIS log. And the output file is the CSV. Save that. Add that as a transformer. So you can see now that I have a, an additional transformer. I need to make a quick change back over here to uh, remove the log extension from Excel. So I delete that. Now if I drag and drop Excel onto the log, it's done a conversion and you can see that it formats quite correctly.